Hi, a lot of people ask me what kind of cue sticks I use, so I thought I'd show you today. I'm trying out my new voice recorder for this video. I know it's a little weird. This first cue is a 20 ounce McDermott. I don't use this cue very much, it just as a practice cue. Shooting around the house. This next cue is my red Q Tech. It's fiberglass, warp resistant. I've won thousands of games using this cue over the last 10 years. I now only use it for trick shots. This is another warp resistant cue. I use this cue to break with them for trick shots since it won't warp. Here's another warp resistant fiberglass cue tech. It's a 20 ounce cue and it's exactly like the red one. Next is my 19 ounce Fury cue. I use this cue in the local bars to shoot with. It's a good cue to bring. This next cue is one of my player's cue, it's 21 ounces. And I use this um, in APA 8-ball tournaments. This cue is a brand new player's cue I've never used, it's 20 ounces. It's all black, with an awesome dragon design on it. This is a special cue here, this is my Muchi. I use this cue pretty much every week when I play nine ball for cash. It's won me a lot of money. Next is my brand new Lacasse. It's 21 ounces, leather wrapping. Very powerful cue. I use this uh, nice cue just to break with, believe it or not. This is my Dave Pearson Signature Series cue. Dave Pearson is a professional speed shooter. So I use this cue to speak for speed shots as well. I just got it last week. This next cue is my Diekman Massé cue. I use it only for Massé shots, which are spin shots. It's heavier and shorter than all other cues. I was awarded this special cue at my first trick shot tournament in Louisville, Kentucky in 2008. This is my signature cue. It's a 20 ounce leather wrap McDermott, a lot of light green on it. That's my favorite color, as you can see my channel. It's got praying mantis engraved in it. I bought this in uh, Valley Forge, Pennsylvania at my first league tournament that I was in. Here is my everyday jump cue, it screws, to screws together fast. As a phenolic tip at the end. I use this cue for almost every single jump shot that I use. This is another special jump cue. This cue I believe weighs about four ounces. Screws together. It's got a graphite shaft, it's very light, and it's called a Dr. Popper jump cue, made by Mark Dimmick. This jump cue is used for jumping over object balls that are very, very close. And other things I have in my pool case are extra dotted balls. And this is a disco ball, a cue ball that can be used at night and dark. It's pretty cool. And I always have in the front of my cue case other items such as powder to keep the hands dry. And this is a tool to use on your tip so it can collect more chalk. And let's see, this is a scuff. This helps shape the tip of your cue. And this is a pocket marker. You put this next to the pocket where you're going to shoot the eight ball and win the game. And I always carry in my cue case a table brush to keep the table clean. This is for pill pool. It's a very fun gambling game where everyone gets a number pill. You put it back in the container. Nobody knows your number. And if you can sink that number ball, while you're playing, you want some extra cash. It's a fun gambling game. And at last, you cannot forget your claw. Your claw holds the pool cues in place so they don't fall to the floor. It can be put against any table or wall shelf. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering, that is my praying mantis tattoo. We're holding the cue stick. And this is my flaming eight ball. Pretty cool, huh? 
Oh, and these are some extra pool cues that I leave at home for family and friends to shoot with since I don't let them use my special cues. And if you're wondering how I got the name Pragmantis, it's the way I use my left hand bridge. This is my left hand bridge. As you can see, it does kind of sort of look like a praying mantis. Praying mantis. It's a great bridge to have when you're shooting over another ball. When there's a ball in place, you want to shoot over it very easy. There he is, the praying mantis. Praying mantis! And of course, always when you're going to a place that doesn't have a pool table, you can bring your mini pool table. I got these for about $100 each, they come with everything. Uh, the balls, the sticks, the rack. It's my old one, this is my new one. It's a green one, exact same one. Um, but it comes equipped in these little suitcases and great to bring along for parties. Well, thanks for watching. Um, hope you learn a little bit more about what I use for shooting pool and stay tuned for more trick shots. Don't forget to subscribe.